Ahoy, ya swabs! Captain Jeff the Pirate here, at your disservice. And welcome to another episode of Captain Jeff Reviews and Questions Adventure Time. Today's episode, The Tower. Uh, we begin with Finn. He'd be back in his house, and he's trying to make a make a, some spaghetti. But uh, he has a weird giant uh, candy arm where his uh, original one was. It uh, doesn't seem to be working out too well for him. So he's trying to make the spaghetti or open stuff or move stuff, but everything be broken or the marshmallow fingers not be working properly. So his candy arm explodes. <laughs> And we still see he still has the stump with the flower growing out of it. So Jake says he'll go and get more, uh, more spaghetti. Anyway, he's wondering what, if Finn be all right. Right now, Finn's main uh, motivation is he wants to find his father, punch him, and take his right arm as payback for having him lose his arm and probably for abandoning him all those year, years ago. So Finn is outside trying to figure out things, sort them out. He's trying to follow Jake's advice on listening to the uh, in our monologue and not think about ripping off people's arms. When suddenly, a weird little tower of uh, stones start to be building behind him. And he's like, how be this possible? And somehow he got this semi-transparent ghost hand that seems to, or phantom hand, it seems to be working now. So he has the, st the stump and the flower, but then his arm just be generating like the phantom arm. So he has a plan. He will build a tower, take it all the way up into outer space, find his father, punch him, and steal his arm. So Jake gets back from the grocery shopping, and there'd be a tower with a guard, banana guard by it, and the princess. And she'd be wondering what's going on. And it, the note that was left says, Jake, I'd be going to punch my dad and get his arm. So Jake says, hey, if this be alright, let, just let him work him out. And Princess Bubblegum will be complaining how this could be dangerous. So anyway, Jake, so if Finn be continuing to build the tower, all the while singing some song about how Baby be going into outer space to punch his dad in the face and get his arm. <laughs> it, uh, it's a very weird song. Anyway, he keeps going, and it's weird. All these materials, they just be floating to him. It's like he has the fires or whatever. It be somehow being generated from his phantom arm. And all these things become... It's all these blocks. It's like... Or it's like Adventure Time met Minecraft. So now he's building a tower just block by block by block by block. So then he gets up high enough that he actually goes into a cloud person's house. And the cloud person zaps him with lightning. So he's like, eh, whatever. So he keeps building and building. And then later on the cloud person comes back and apologizes. She says uh, she was once just water and she hated people swimming in her. But now, so she evaporated, and now she's just floating around on a cloud. So Jake, so uh, while Finn is doing this, uh, Jake is still at the bottom with the princess, who's building some kind of contraption, of whatever. And of course, she's still saying how it's dangerous and how Finn shouldn't be doing this. And Jake is like, he be working stuff out. I mean, come on, seriously. If you had your arm ripped off by your father who abandoned you about 14 or 15 years ago, wouldn't you have some stuff to work out also? So anyway, the tower is going higher and higher, and it's weird. It's actually consisting of, like, squares of lava and penguins and parts of the ice kingdom. It's definitely become a full-blown Minecraft parity. <laughs> so anyway, Finn is getting higher and higher and higher, and now he's in space. And the air is very thin, and he's now just on one very wibble wobbly tower of one single stack of rocks. And there we see the opening. It'd be from another dimension. From the Citadel, probably, where Finn's father escaped, and he'd be so close, so close, but the oxygen is too thin for him, and he passes out. Finn wakes up in some place, and there'd be a second bed nearby that's been slept in, but uh, he doesn't know where the heck he be. So he opens the door, and in a folding chair, watching a TV, there'd be his father, who asks, Hey, son, how you doing? Suddenly, Finn's phantom arm becomes really big and beefy and bulky and has spikes on it and he BAM! He clocks the he clocks his father. He goes over and starts to pull off his pull on the old man's arm and he's like, oh my favorite arm. So Finn then realizes he probably shouldn't be doing that. And then suddenly Princess Bilbo voice comes from somewhere and he'd be like, huh? 
It, it turns out that uh, Finn's father, father is actually a very poorly disguised uh, dummy costume. And Princess Bulgum is now sporting a uh, black eye. <laughs> so she says that they be in the candy kingdom fall out, Sheltar. And she figured it was best to trick Finn, figured, she figured he would thank her later. All we know is now the phantom, the phantom arm is now gone and Finn no longer wants to punch his father and take his arm. So Finn goes back to see Jake and figures, guess it's time to deconstruct the tower. So he just pulls out a support beam and the tower falls over a massive portion of the kingdom. Even hits the candy kingdom and you hear Princess Bubblegum yell, Ow, my arm! <laughs> and that's what ends the episode. So, I give this episode a thumb and a half up. I mean, it was pretty understandable that Finn would want his arm back, or want to get revenge on his father for all the crappy things he did to him. But, uh, I don't know, I mean, the fact that Prince Bubblegum was trying to stop him and even tricked him saying the whole, you'll thank me later thing, I got admit, I don't really follow that, the whole, you'll thank me later spiel. So, and besides, uh, that, is, that raises one of the questions. And here be me top four questions for this episode. Welcome back. So like I said, I give this episode a thumb and a half up. Liked uh, the Minecraft reference to it. And uh, Finn's uh, little song was a little weird, but it was pretty funny. But, hope but hopefully uh, at some point Finn will be getting a new limb. It's either by flower or magic or machinery. Who knows how that'll work out. So until next time, this be Captain Jeff the Pirates saying thanks for watching. Talk to you later. And as always, R. Have a nice day.